guys, welcome back to my YouTube. <laughs> Let's go there. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Ratchet, the YouTuber. You guys can see I'm looking all different today and glowing. <laughs> Anyways, if you are new to my channel, you are most welcome. And if you're an old subscriber, thank you so much for coming. So, from the video description, I believe you know what this video is all about. So, today we'll be talking about steps to apply for the USF1 visa i have everything literally written down on my notebook i guess this book should be familiar by now so i'll just be telling you the steps i took to apply for the visa because um i did something i went on google and i searched and i noticed something on google it really didn't give us the exact steps it really did give us the exact steps so i'm trying to tell you exactly the steps i took when i was applying for the usf1 student visa so let me just start the step one you have to apply to a u.s school or probably a not probably a u.s accredited school if you are going for like a degree you need to go and apply to the school you want yes then if the school takes um application fee or whatever you pay for your application fee right obviously before those processes you must have a valid passport passport that will be more than six months because without a passport more than six months you cannot apply for a US F1 visa. You cannot apply for visa. So the second thing you should do is you get your school form. This school form is called the I-20. The I-20. I think I'll put a picture of what the I-20 looks like. My own I-20. I'll put a picture of what the I-20 looks like over here. You have to get the I-20 from your school or the school you apply to. You're applying from other schools. I believe you get like I-20 from the other. If it's three schools, get I-20 from three different schools. If it's four schools, I-20 from four different schools. Um, the third is going to have you to have like a passport photo, a passport photo. The size will be written down here for you to see a passport photo. Then there's what we call the service fee. You have to pay your service fee. The service fee, if you are from Nigeria, the process is very, very tedious and, and stressful. I think I'll do a different video on how you can pay your service fee without no stress. So you have to pay your service fee. The fifth step is to pay your us 160 dollars it's not it's they will refund you even if you have been denied visa but this 160 dollars are going to be paid to your local bank so if it's in nigeria you're supposed to pay to gtb bank so when you get to gtb bank you tell them you want to pay for your visa interview then the visa the when you're done with the process or whatever they give you this code is this code that you will not take to the website where you'll be applying and they will get to like a stage in the in the website of asking for the code that you used to apply so you just put it there the sixth thing i have to tell you please take note of these things all the things all the um forms all the things you have done throughout this process the things you submitted to your school your credentials or whatever put all those documents together because you'll be asked for it especially the i20 the i20 even after the whole visa process if you have been issued the us f1 visa you will need it so please keep your i20 safe thank you i think i've come to the end of this video i was trying to be as fast as possible to give you the main information i didn't want to face you up to five minutes and i think that goal has been achieved so guys please don't stop making your researches don't stop making your researches and feel free to watch the video of how my visa interview went so just try to watch other videos thank you bye guys